all right so um, in the last class we looked at um, the ACPI SLPS3 which was renamed to SUSP after entering the IO controller and then the IO controller renamed it to SUSP right so SLPS3 is SUSP with the hash and without the hash it is um, a low level right and we looked at the the conversion from DC to DC supply from plus from 5 volt always to plus 5 volt and from 3 volt always to plus 3 volt and um, the RAM termination supply voltage CPU core one of the CPU voltages right 1.8 volt and uh, we looked at some other supplies so today's class we're going to finish up ACPI then we're going to look at the power OK and then we're going to look at how after the power OK then the VRM signal is released from the IO controller to the CPU VRM IC right so we're going to go back to the page right so we're going to go back to page let's, let's zoom in that's page 33 where I explained last week Right, so last week class we are this low level the high the low level of SUSP the low level of SUSP comes to Q10A to cut off this MOSFET and B plus will flow through this resistor to become run on five volt S switch switched voltage to become plus five volt S, right? And same for the three volt and one point five which is not installed, one point zero five not installed, right? So all right, so let's go back. And uh, we have explained that in the last class. Also explained this part in the last class. Yes, so speed comes up here. Why? 1.8 volt. Okay, so uh, this is the CP regulator class. We need to go back to the data sheet from BCH Intel Series 5. Alright, so we are here for the Intel Series 5 and we're going to go back to the timing diagram. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the timing diagram. Alright, so we need to cover we need to go to the timing. Alright, so we can see our timing diagram and see we are in the the timing sequence we have reached remember the power one sequence of any chipset is based on timing and uh, we are going to go through the timing the timing is like a guide right it's like a guide and uh, here beautiful so uh, the timing as I said is like your guide for the hard start when you are troubleshooting from VCCRTC from VCCRTC right so we started from VCCRTC and we looked at the RTC reset and the, the VCC sus which is a standby resume URL reset sus clock SLPS 5 we looked at SLPS 4 right SLPS 4 and then SLPS 3 and SLPM, as I said, SLPM, which is the sleep control or the manageability control signal, which is used to turn on the Intel Active Management Technology, which is inside of the PCH, which it's like a subcomputer system, as I said before, that is independent of the operating system. So it doesn't need the operating system in order to communicate with the management engine, right? So it's an independent computer system or a subcomputer system inside, and it runs when the computer is off and do other cal um, computational procedures and help for IT managers in remote assistance and so forth etc right now we're going to the VCC which is the S0 voltages right the S0 voltages VCC let's go what VCC so the data sheet all has all these information for VCC so we're going to go down and we're going to see what VCC means all right here it is VCC right so it says VCC includes VCC IO VCC core VCC 3 underscore 3, VCC DPLLA, VCC DPLLB, right? VCC analog to digital and analog to digital, V5 ref, CPU input output, 
VCC DMI, VCC LAN, right? It said if LAN only power in S0 state, remember VCC is the S0 state voltages, mm -hmm. right? So it said that if LAN only power in S0 state, VCC A LVDS for the mobile, VCC TX LVDS mobile is for the LVDS connector to power the LVDS connector. Remember, this is powered right inside the PCH, right? And you have VCC ME, which is for the management engine, which is powered by SLPM. Right, SLPM is the main power plane or the sleep control signal to turn on VCC ME. If VCC ME, if the board does not support VCC ME, then it will have the same timing in the S0 state, which is tied with 1.05 volt or the VCCP signal. So the VCCP which is 1.05 volt. If the board doesn't support the active management technology, then ME VCC ME will just tie with the S0 state voltages run power. Right? Let's read it. So it says VCC ME. If Intel management engine only powered in the S0 state, a power rail is considered to be inactive when the rail is at its normal voltage minus 5% or less, right? And that board design may meet the T the T231 and the T232 and the T234 and the T235 and the T238. VREF must be powered up before VCC ME. So you see, when a board support VCC ME. The BIOS must be powered, as I said, the LAN must be powered, the, the memory module must be powered before the trigger, right? And that's how, that is why it must have an Intel LAN. For the Intel LAN is implemented, then it must have the LAN reset high to the SPI soft start and read the internal PCH timing, right? This The timing cannot be measured extremely and included here for general power sequence reference. So the VCC voltage, in a nutshell or in a summary, is all of these S0 state voltages in S0. So let's go back to VCC. So VCC is the S0 state voltages. So these voltages. So let's go back to page 33. Alright, let's go back to page 33. You see all these voltages? See? We have all these VCCV 1.5, 0.75 volts. All these are for the S0 state because you see s0 from 1.5 all these are s voltages s0 voltages right all right so when all these voltages are powered then the io right let's go to page 30 for the io controller hold on let me go down to another um, to the bottom of the page just to make sure then we go to the io controller All right. Now, this board, this, you know that there's a coil. Normally, this coil for the GFX. In some boards, some boards don't use. This voltage is gonna generate after the CPU power supply is okay, right? After the C CPU power supply is okay, then I will explain the circuit. I won't explain the circuit now because you see GFX score. This is a voltage that is generated after the CPU supply, right? This